Good morning. Don't go. Uh, about is Asubui. Sorry, sorry. Okay. I'm happy that you're catching with this one here now, and uh, hopefully when you get home you can go more deep into your book. When you come back, you'll be Kiswahili experts. We're heading to Stone Town, one hour drive from here. There's a, there's a traffic jam, village traffic jam for the very first time since we started this safari. Um, we are heading to Stone Town, and uh, it takes one hour from here to Stone Town. We'll start from the local food market, we walk through the narrow street of Zanzibar. Um, something is good. Just hold on, just hold on. Through the narrow street of Zanzibar, there are lots of shops. Big ones for nice Zanzibar dress with Zanzibar on it. Spices and a lot of crafts, handmade. Uh, 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 well, I call it things or products. If you find one that you like to take with you, you may. You can buy it. The price here, the you can negotiate. The bargaining is also there, like in other places we have been to. But the thing is, you cannot cut down to like 10%, like what we do in the mainland. Here, maybe between 3 to 5% of the original price. If like it's $10, then calculate it. Um, as I said yesterday, so when you see like one is doing something, we take pictures for those Zanzibar doors, Zanzibar windows. And Wilfred will be there to explain you. I would love to do so, but I don't have that name tag. If the uh, tourism department of Zanzibar find me doing that in the street, the three in jail. I am in I am in trouble. The uh, three in jail. <laughs> uh, this has been done for a good good goodwill because, as you know, Zanzibar is part of Tanzania, and the tourism in Zanzibar is growing, and they want the people of Zanzibar to benefit. So when we bring the tourists here, we give them first priority for them to do that. First of all, to build up their good, good capacity. The people in Zanzibar are very good in doing what they do. So by giving them all the supply, I mean from the mainland, tourism here, uh, they do a good job and then they can also develop their families. Uh, once we get into Stone Town, after that tour, we can see during the visit of our House of Wonder, it's under renovation. So if they will allow us to go in, hallelujah. If not, we can see it from outside. We pass by the uh, old fort. Why old fort? We'll learn that later. That time I will try to see if I can there's that floating bo uh, floating restaurant at the Forodhani garden. I'll quickly rush there and get maybe table for us. Uh, it's a nice place to be. We have our lunch there. After lunch, I'm sure the boat will be ready to take us to Prison Island. Do not expect to see prisoners in that island. It was been designed like it was been designed to be a prison island, but never been. So, good thing. What the British were thinking was not what the God is, God is doing for us. So, after that, we'll get back to the Unguja Island, the main island. Take the bus and drive back here. In between all this activity, in between all this activity. I would really would encourage and welcome you to spend your money. Okay. In any possible way, I would love you to support the economy of people of Zanzibar. 
So in any way, please, you're welcome to do the hand to hand business with the people here in Zanzibar because as you have seen already, if you do like business out there, you're doing direct with the locals. You're doing direct with the families. The important part is that the money that you spend, it goes to the family. Yes. It does not go to the middleman and then he will calculate what to give to the family. That goes straight to the family. Um, when we're going through the narrow street of Zanzibar, there are lots of African beautiful looking girls and boys. You can take pictures of those beautiful girls, beautiful boys, beautiful children and mothers sitting cooking. There can be three answers. I have said this before. Yes, take it. No, don't do. Pay me something. So you want to like make her happy or him, give him like five bucks, take your photo, it's going to be your good memory. Uh, I, would, I would say do not do it, don't take photos, but it's a memory. It's something that yeah, it's something that you want to when you look at it at home you say, wow, this is my fellow brother, my fellow sister in Africa. I was in Zanzibar, this is the photo I took. Anyway, um, before I forget, anything that I cannot fix it, it stays in my brain all the time. And my, my body will talk about it. I keep on following about the Karibu Art Gallery in Dar es Salaam. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> uh, you found the location. It is like 20 minutes drive from the city center. And currently, it's run by the son of the founder. The founder is healthily not okay. okay. So his son is now running it. So I was calling and trying to get, and finally yesterday evening when I was sitting, somebody called me that, you have been looking for our art uh, gallery. I said, yes. Oh, we have relocated because the founder is not very okay, but the sun is running it, you're welcome. I said, it's too late, we're in Zanzibar. <laughs> <laughs> so, I came to know that it's, it's true that it's been moved from the original building at the Askari Monument. Yes. And now they have changed the name. It's not the Karibu anymore. It's uh, Dar es Salaam Art Gallery. So they have moved it out where the rent is cheap because in the city center, since the founder is not there, he's not getting a lot of business. So they move it out like 20 minutes drive from the Askari Monument. And as you know, that Islamic, they say it's 20 minutes drive from here to there. If it's daytime, it takes like 40 plus minutes. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to tell you what I came to found. And I'm happy that uh, brother Kamau has done his own research and he knows that the sun is running. Excellent. Uh, so maybe, I cannot promise, but maybe if things go well, we can, on the way to the ferry, I mean, I mean from the ferry, if they, I will talk to, to the driver. We cannot force because we are going to the airport. If, 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 uh, if it works, we will try to visit them. Because since the founder is not healthy in terms of his health, if you go there and people buy some few things, you will support the family. But that's if the time allows. There's a lot of good things we want to do, but the time is not our friend. Yeah, the, the art and frame uh, uh, presentation wasn't bad. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it's not any bigger or smaller, right? Yeah. The, 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 the one that we went to is, uh, is very similar, right? Um, the, the layout and the products are almost the same. Oh, wow. All right. The only thing is that is the family business and that is the, the, the one we visited is like a community business. And that's why they have to to hire or to, to find a manager who will run it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, one, of the, one of the things about the uh, itinerary that we have in the in the city, uh, everything is in was positioned around a hotel to get you quick access. So anything like ten miles or fifteen minutes, you're right, is gonna put us until, unless we're able to figure out getting another day, which would be difficult. 
um, because of scheduling. Well, I'm. So, I'm, I'm, you know, so the other one is not bad. No, it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. It's so, just, I'm uh, gonna swap out the information. Okay. To, I mean, twenty. To, you said twenty minutes. It's twenty minutes drive from the city. Yeah, that'll give us like an hour delay. Um. Well, it, it will be that. You see, like yesterday, we were supposed to be here at twelve. The boat bring, brought us earlier. If it's not by because of the rain, we'll do everything we wanted to do. But uh, if we be early in Dar es Salaam, we'll see of how we can do it. But if not, then we cannot. And uh, anyway, for the program we have been doing, it has been like almost 99% perfect. Because yeah, there's always there's always errors, and we cannot. Yeah, the market is the only thing that we miss. <laughs> The Kariako market yeah, is because the, of the traffic yeah, jam. Yeah, the whole itinerary. Yeah. If we, go, if we would go there, then that means we'll get to the hotel at 10. Because I, the driver was willing to do it, and then I keep on asking him, are you sure there's no traffic? I, he said, ah, we can do it. We can. And finally, I told the other friend, he said, this time of the day, that's why when you come back to the bus, I said, we go to the hotel. He told me this time of the day, it's not the Dala Dala, public transport, taxi, it's human traffic. It's people like all there buying for the last evening, uh, last hours of the evening. Let you know that this very, very few number of people owns the refrigerator. We don't really. We don't really, we go day by day because... Oh, that's what keeps the market packed. Yes. Because if you buy oh, things in bulk, good. if you buy like chicken, you buy beef, you buy pork, you buy fi uh, fish, you fill up your deep freezer, by the end of the day when you finish, you have lost all the people that are supposed to be good people for you to sell you in a good price. So if you are a daily buyer, your prices are always minimized by that day by day visit. So it's like this, you buy tomato for maximum of three days. You buy onions for maximum of three days. So when you, after three days you pass by that uh, a lady or a, a man selling tomatoes, he will easily remember you are welcome. Today, yesterday you bought five for this like 500. So today I give you five for 500 and one more to just build up that bone. So it's always good to go, like creating friendship. But the other thing is, people don't like to eat food that has been refrigerated. That's why you have seen in Dar es Salaam, the, the, the breakpoint restaurant where we went for lunch, is flooded, flooded by the number of people. Because people know the hotel, the restaurant doesn't have a big fridge and the backyard. If they one notice and will come out and say, guys, this restaurant runs a big, big deep freezer, expect in two, three weeks, your business is gone. Because people believe eating fresh is more healthy than deep, uh, frozen food. That's like that and it's going like that and nobody is complaining, so we go on like that. We have been passing these young girls, school yes. peoples, wearing covering their hairs is not religion it's a school uniform <laughs> because you may think oh the all the girls all the all the people here are muslim now yes 99 90, 95% are muslims 5% are christian but nobody knows we know it's because we do the research we know it's because we are the guides we need to know information but if you ask the locals here, how many Muslims are and how many Christians are, he will look to you like you have said to him, you're dying tomorrow. <laughs> because he, he or she doesn't know. So we'll be shocked. How many are they now? But the number doesn't matter. Religion, as I said from the very first day, your religion is my religion. Because we all participate together. It's Christmas time, like now is the Christmas coming. The Muslims are buying new dress, Christine are buying new dress because we will go to celebrate together. From Christmas and New Year, Easter, 
So it's, I, I love it and it's, it's a good thing because for many years our leaders put us together and by that way we are one family. Yes, we are all humans. When you hear something that is not a positive thing somewhere else, it's just the humanity. Can you distinguish between human and humanity? Especially the government, the president.